I think what happens. Industry, uh, my bad, but in this industry, a mm. lot of these female rappers be like, nah, you gonna respect me as a rapper, rapper. So it's almost like, and this is just a take. I, I mm. feel like he shouldn't have said this shit, but it's almost like, all right, if you wanna be in this game, you wanna be treated as a rapper, rapper, then yep. you will get these, this is the same way you, you get, get these shots and all these other niggas. Mm. No Clarence. Hey, AKC. Hey, can you do stuff for me? Okay. Hey, can you hit a rich flex for me? Hey. <laughs> What's going on? on watch. Hey, hey. You guys, cost a lot. You guys happy? Hurry. You guys in a good mood? You know, Hell we're yeah. live. I wonder why we're in a good mood. Because you know what? Drizzy Drake and 21 dropped. He dropped fire. He dropped another one. Well, mm, you know, I, I got some comments. But, uh, Fire. Nothing but fire. Uh, play. Uh, the I'm whole clip's go play. The whole explosion. It goes long. I'ma keep it cute. But um, I mean, before we dive in, see Jalen cusses me out when I don't run through things and then he interrupts me running through things. Sorry. Mm, yeah. See, see, see what I mean? Um, hey y'all, what's up? It is the No Clearance Podcast. We are back with another fucking video slash session slash whoop, whoop. you know episode what we do you know episode <laughs> whatever you want to call it uh it's your girl k to the k to the c and i am joined here by the two uh black kings uh we got J- oh look at this man oh god <laughs> <laughs> we got the man with the sound some may call him brown we're talking j jerry Jalen. Wow. what's up light skin is <laughs> White skin assassin. Then hey. we got the nigga who's always in the laboratory cooking up bullshit. It's your guy, <laughs> Tyler, the creator. Hey man, it is what it is. How y'all doing? <laughs> blessed, vibes. Blessed and black. I'm in a great Ooh, mood. Today. Being better than that. Blessed and black. I like that. Blessed and black. Man, we're not All always right. blessed. You know what I mean? Because there's always some bullshit. So that's good. Yeah, you know. I'm I look, I'm a blessed ass nigga. Oh, brother. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Okay. Oh, it's God. just all about how you look at it, man. That's true. If that's you're listening valid. to this podcast, you're blessed. If you hear my voice, I know you're blessed. Oh, you feel bro. me? Oh, this it God. is what it is. Oh gosh. Oh, we got him cut it out. <laughs> cut it uh, out. <laughs> okay, so obviously there's the oh, before I we segue, oh. what is finally available yes. get on the mic time it is here the members only merch site is up it is available to anybody who is subscribed to the newsletter how do you know you're subscribed to the newsletter you would have received an email from us last night with the link to the members only website but there's always time there's so much more time. You can subscribe, and as soon as you subscribe, you will get an email with the members only, with the link to the members only website. All right. I want to give a big shout out to the homie Bree who helped me design the site. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A big shout out to you. Uh, shout out to the team who was like, nigga, do that shit. So appreciate y'all for the confidence. You feel me? So that shit is up, it's out there in the world. Go buy some shit at a discounted price. And if uh you don't want to sign up to the newsletter. Well, fuck it. Go to noclearspod.com slash shop and get you the actual merch and pay the full price for that shit. Because this is nice. a No Clearance Podcast. Full price? <laughs> That's giving a large. You you Get him the whole fucking me. I don't know. I need the discount. I need the clearance. Hey, hey, okay. hey. <laughs> yeah. Chuckle, chuckle, laugh, laugh. Y'all enjoy that. Black November is here. Yes, and as always, please subscribe, like, share, hit the bell if you are tuning in on YouTube. If you are somebody that's tuning in through Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or whatever platforms you're using to tune in, make sure that you're rating us. Give us those five stars, and please drop a review. I I mean, if you got to come up with different accounts to drop the review, do what you got to do. I don't care how you do it. Get it done, please, and thank you. We want to make sure that we are upping our listening ship and we want to make sure that we get in putting flavor in your ear that's a little Ooh. hip-hop reference uh okay so before we dive into the her loss i wanted to do a couple would you rathers let's y'all get ready it. let's get it okay, okay. 
Now, some of these may not apply to y'all, but just, you know, think in your head. First one, would you rather have triplets or would you rather have one child every year for three years? Mm. And it's like back to back. So year one, year two, year three. I do that. One baby a year for three years. That's, I do that. Okay. What about you, Sam? Stretch it out a little bit. I, I personally would prefer one baby each year for three years. I know it'd be probably easier on my wife for triplets, but I would prefer to just knock her up once a year for three years. I hate <laughs> you so feel much. me? I, I feel me. like I would I'm leaning more towards the triplets. Let's get it done and then sew me up and then we're good. They each have somebody to play with. One one of your siblings piss you off, you got another one. Yeah, I feel you, but I personally I would like to sp- spend just like a little bit of personal time especially as a baby with each of my oh, children. That's you know what I'm saying? So I don't yeah, got to be on some It's all like, three at once. Hey, nigga, your sister over here cried. Like, I got this. <laughs> I, I, hey, get down from that bookshelf. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, when, when, it, when it's all at one time, it's just like, you can't, you can't, that's you, can't you can't really get a chance to be one-on-one with them. You got to be like, oh, they're all together. And they all become yeah, like the like same you, person. Yeah, and you know, minute. each child is different, so... One per one kid could go to sleep one way and the other go to sleep another, and it's like if they all here at the same time, I'm like, ah, dang, yeah, That's like valid. trying to figure that out is a little rough, but I know it'll be easier on my wife if all three at the same time, and then you know, ain't yeah. never gonna have kids again. Like, I yeah, that. just sew that show, sew it back yeah. up, you good with one time, you don't gotta go. If go, if, go, if I had triplets, but then but this is my thing, but then she got to do that two more times. No, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. If she had triplets, this is one time. She go get it, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. clean it up real quick, snatch it back. Real, she got long to recover. Up, I'll say this. Makeover, I will you know say I mean? this. If I had triplets, um, I definitely would get a vasectomy after that. I'd be done. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah I think. Sure. I, 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 yeah. I, I think. I, third child. We're kind of locked in. On top I of that, there cut it off at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on top of that, one each year means three baby showers. That's a lot more gifts. Yeah. No, and at the third kid, it's a, a baby sprinkle. You know what I mean? No, it ain't, no, that no, motherfucker no. Ain't, I'm turning up every time. That motherfucker ain't, it ain't sh- it, it's only Honestly. so much we can shower. Oh, I'm only, I'm let only turning it up once. Only turning uh, up one time for the first one. Really I'm Puerto Rican. We, into, every every baby shower is like a quinceanera. You know what I mean? It's going to turn into a cookout. And look, if the, if the ladies don't want to come, that's fine. It's just going to be an all-male baby shower. And oh, we just going to have steak and wings and oh. just some and cigars. Shower. No cigars because my wife's pregnant. She going. She got to be there. Oh, you right. You right. <laughs> yeah. You right. You right. <laughs> she got to be there. Because you said the guys. Yeah, I don't no, it's, know. It's, it's, it's the fellas, but it's, it's still her baby shot. I mean, if y'all want to oh. show it, just, it She and her by herself. That sounds like a it terrible just, time for a pregnant. That's what I'm saying. That doesn't sound like a good time for her. You not, saying not it, but I, I'm going off of what you said. It like, oh, it's, they they already done that too. What the fuck? I need to show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. The next one. She can't have a friend. No, right. At least one buddy. <laughs> God bring damn. A friend alive? <laughs> He's like, no, baby, you good. You got company in your stomach. <laughs> all, I all are welcome. All are welcome. Oh, brother. Okay, the next, <laughs> the next one. Would you rather win two million untaxed mm. or have someone pay off all your student loans or other debt? Oh, two mil. Two mil. It's easy. It was... I can pay off my debt with the two yeah, mil. Yeah, I can pay off my debt with I don't have two million dollars worth of debt. Yeah, I'm not that in the hole. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I, I still have like 1.9 mil or some shit. Yeah, I think I would do the two mil. I don't got that much debt, so I'm still untaxed. I'm, Un- untaxed. untaxed. Yeah. 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 I'm that'd I'm be, I'm coasting. That'd be twenty million in a year. Now here's Yeah, the thing, if you though. know how to flip it, you know what here's I'm saying? They know though. Rinse and repeat. Mm-hmm. And, and we're gonna get to this song later, but in the great words of, of Drake. Oh, no, actually. Go ahead. Go this, ahead. Because I already did this. my deep breath. But more no, money, no. more problems. Now here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. I say bring on the problems. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But two mil, I'm gonna have a lot of niggas knocking on my door. Pay off my debt, ain't nobody coming for me. I'm just debt free. You feel what, Ooh, what I'm saying? Ooh, that's that makes all, sense. All, all That's like, so fair. Know, but, hey, but I'm gonna accept my two mil in a mask. But um, have my hands covered up. You know how them niggas be doing it when they win but, the lottery. They know they not stupid. Just don't answer the phone. No, Jalen. They will really. I've heard like people have. I, it's it's a lot. Oh, just I, don't I, answer the phone, right? Just I, 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 I mean, I niggas will come door. to your apartment because you gotta think there's a lot of shit that's public record. 
Yeah, I won't open it, the door. I'm telling you, bro. That's it, why it, I'm saying, like, I tell people, if you win a lottery, do not, never, ever, ever claim your prize under your name. Do it under a trust fund. So I've done my research. Don't even know how to make a trust fund. Yeah, I was it's say, really I was, not complicated yeah. to make a trust fund. You know what though? Here's the thing: I would do it under my name, and I'd be like, "I wish you niggas would." Yeah. No, I it's really dangerous. Was, I mean, I niggas is Actually, like. I, bet it is, I mean, we've seen shopping. lottery tickets. People get shot for less. We see lottery hey, tickets. Hey, swear to God, one? people get shot. For- <laughs> 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 He's like, niggas die every day, B. Next, I can't. I hate y'all. <laughs> Would you rather go back to your ex or count every grain of rice in the bag? Hey, pass me that bag. Yeah, bro. <laughs> well, wait, that's not <sighs> even equivalent. That's not equivalent at all. Go back to my ex or count every grain every of rice. Every grain of rice in a bag. How like, big's the bag? Do I have to it's, it is equivalent. I wasted time either way. Yeah, but That's how big is the true. bag? You did. You did waste. You, you learned waste something from your ex. Oh, that you okay. Past, oh my god. Everybody learns so. Pastor Ty is here with us. Oh you, lord. You, you learn so. I mean, yes, you could say overall. If the lesson's <laughs> not that great of a lesson, you overall you may waste some time. But if you learned a good lesson, at least you learned a good lesson. Here's the thing. Do I have to? Do I have to sit there? And count, do I have to like literally sit there and count every grain of rice and not move until every grain of rice is accounted for? Like, what's the I would, about Yeah, let's like, go. There, you got it. We like, got it. There assume. breaks. <laughs> no, Tyler's there's like, no can breaks. I get a smoke break? There's no breaks. <laughs> no. <laughs> how long do I have to be with my ex? It just says, <laughs> would you go back to your ex? So, how I long go, was your relationship? I'd go, I, I'd go back to my ex for like a week and then just cut it off and then I don't have to cut, count no fucking nope. rice. The same amount of time you was with that person. Oh no! Like it, oh, so if y'all oh. was kicking it for five years, you gotta do another five. You gotta oh, do another oh. bid. I gotta do Ooh. another bid. I can't oh, do yeah. Bid. Uh, I'll count the fucking rice. I don't care if it takes me ten. Okay, weeks. that one was quick. All right, last one. Would oh. you rather be the richest person in the world or the most famous person? Richest. Please let me be the richest person. I'm most famous. I can get shot. Gra. I don't want niggas to know me. That general. too. Actually, uh, uh, that's valid. I kind of want to be known a little bit. Uh, I don't want to be the most famous. I'm good. I w- I'll be cool with the richest. I'd much rather be the richest. I get my, I yeah. get my folks to create, you know. Because I, I also feel like, family. I feel like if you are the richest person on in the world, I feel like that brings some sort of notoriety. Well, like people are aware I probably, of it. Well, the real but problem is the what comes is, with the richest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of these rich oil niggas out here, you know, there's a lot of rich niggas that's mm. doing I, some foul shit. I so feel like. What's coming with it? If you become the richest person in the world, you don't really have to worry about anything. What do you mean? Like people messing with you, like, you don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, that's. I think that's, to a certain extent, he's right. Yeah, like you, to yeah, a yeah. certain. You're, you're, at some point, you can get so removed. You, you, it just depends can, on what your money. You can find to. somebody to take care of that. You know, yeah, what I mean? exactly. Not an essential, yeah. like you know, sleeping with the fishes, but just in general, like. You don't have to deal with, you know, the little people. Yeah. Yeah. Not the little I mean, people, but. Plus, you know? like, yeah. all right, does most m- most famous and no money? Or, like, what does the fame bring me? Uh, hopefully it brings you some money. money. Well, hopefully you can use it to finesse some bread. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I don't some endorsements famous, or some shit. Yeah, if you're the most famous person in the world, all you got to do is say Target and you're going to get a check. I don't need people in my minute. Like, I can't go nowhere. That's why I would yeah. take the riches, cause riches you can like really move. Yeah, you can't have anything like scandalous. Yeah, I'm, I'm happen. not trying to deal with no hoes. Imagine, imagine no you had something scandalous me. happen, like yeah, something like. Yeah, oh, and that shit yeah. will blow your shit up, and then you're yeah. not in the same. You know what I mean? I would hate exactly. for somebody to lie on me or some. Just yeah, like, some shit like that, or like crazy stuff. Yeah, dang. Everybody, if you're getting like a small freaking fender bender, everyone in the world gonna be like, "Damn, you can't drive." It's like fuck. You can't do nothing. Yeah. I can't. Not that you can't drive. Okay, so that is done. Check. This episode is brought to you by the good people at No Clearance. All right, go to noclearancepod.com slash shop. We have merchandise for you to wear. Please support the brand. Okay, we got our new clearance collection. All right, with the Defy the Trends, Be the Standard shirts, as well as the no clearance collect, uh, shirt and the superior no clearance shirt with the dad hats. Dad hats are selling big. Okay. So please make sure you go to noclearancepod.com slash shop. 
buy some merch to support the podcast so we can get bigger and better every week. Thank you. Back to the show. Um, now, there's like some other things that I wanted to talk about. Well, I wouldn't say briefly, but I feel like the other things are related to her loss. So I don't want to talk about it yet. What is What the fuck is going on with Dwayne? Dwayne, 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 yeah, Wade? Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne Wade. Wade. What did you, you connect? You connected. You said D Wade, but you said Dwayne. D, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I knew it was wrong. I just didn't know why it was wrong. <laughs> I was like, what? God I, damn. I, I, honestly, oh, it sounded shout out right to, to me. It, yeah, shout it, out him. It, it sounded like he just trying to be a good father. To be yeah. honest with you. Yeah. So what happened? What happened with Dwayne Wade? What What exactly happened? So I mean, if most, I feel like unless you've been under a rock, uh, he has a daughter who is has transitioned to was born a boy but is transitioning to be a a girl cuz I don't think um she's of age I think she's under 21 um but I don't think that she's done anything drastic as far as like getting bottom surgery or anything like that but the mom the birth mother um is claiming like oh they're doing all this for like um like financial benefit or gain type of thing and I guess that this is not her first attempt at trying to like I feel like she's trying to finesse bread. Um, so this is not the first attempt, but he's this is the first time I feel like he's publicly lashing back with at her. Yeah, and kind of being like, Yeah, you're fucking good. Yeah, he cussed her out. He was like, You ain't been in this child's life for ten years. Like, I think as a mom, that's so like shame on you. It, like it, it's crazy. I don't know. What do you Wait. think, Ty? Um this just reminds me that you know, we just gotta be careful who we have kids with. At the end yeah, of the say day. say it one more time for the <laughs> bitches in the back. <laughs> we, we gotta be careful who we have kids with. Um, be careful who you are fertilizing <laughs> eggs with. It's just a, you know, it's a tough situation. I don't. Yeah, she sounds crazy. Mm. Um, and yes, if she hasn't talked to her daughter, then you know w- she has nothing to stand upon in regards right. to. Her debate, but it's like, yeah. man, I don't know. She, I've when I watched Dwayne Wade's uh, documentary, you know, what I'm saying at one mm. point they was in a good space, you know, they was together, yeah, the kids. Dwayne Wade was like co-parenting weird. type shit. Nah, they was like they was together, like it. It wasn't even on that level. Like they really had, you know, love for each other. And I don't know when, what, like when it fell apart, but when mm. it fell apart, it went it went south. So it's like, you know. Hopefully she gets some type of some type of healing or something, but that shit's yeah. stay stay blessed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she needs to do something because that's crazy. Yeah. I also think it's just like you like shame on you. Yeah. Because you you gotta know you weren't in your child's life. You weren't invested. Mm-hmm. You didn't do what you needed to do on your end. And yeah. you have the nerve or the gall, the audacity to name for somebody who's been in this child's life and also stepped up in his, ne- I believe, his nephew's life as well. Like, yeah. this is somebody yeah. who's gone above and beyond as far as guardianship. You got some yeah. nerve running your mouth talking about, I'm doing anything to yeah. get yeah, financial yeah, that's, gain that's, out of my Once you kids. get full custody. How the hell are you, you going to tell your- Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union? <laughs> They, they got a whole moat like, around they got, their house, bro. Yeah, they they are millionaires by themselves individually. Like, what do huh? they need to do to exploit a little girl? Like, what are they gonna get from that? Like, what? That doesn't even make any sense. Nah, it's a little crazy. I just it, don't no, think it's, it's feasible. It's not a little crazy. It's very crazy. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like in that situation, um, if it was the other way around, you know, what I'm saying like if the mother had full custody of the kids, mm. you know. It, Dwayne Wade says, says anything now you like oh this nigga you know what I'm saying like you a deadbeat father anyway yeah you know what I'm right. saying so it's like yeah he's I, like literally the opposite full of that custody, if you have full custody of your child like I feel like the other parent really has no place mm-hmm. yeah it matter you know right so you would think yeah that I don't just, know man yeah, she's bugging that's what that's, that's literally what it is she's just shit. bugging I just feel like it's it's, it's 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 giving bitter and it's giving mm-hmm. hey babe I'm sure life is like really fucking you up right now as it is a lot of people but I think that you ain't you ain't had no right yeah. and you knew better that's my thing is like oh you wanted to be publicly embarrassed and that's yeah. fine because I mean yeah, some yeah. of us need humbling publicly you know I wonder um, if Gabrielle Union actually wrote it 
<laughs> I hope she did. Like, Wait, give me the fucking phone. She, did she, <laughs> she de- they definitely went over it together. D Way looked yeah. at that Jody. She was like, give me the phone. <laughs> just, yeah, give it, you, just give me the phone. She was like, you got to say this instead of that. You being too nice. Go for the jugular. So I can see that. Because be. I tell you what, I feel like the hardest thing for, for a brother to do is like to clap back. Clap back against the mother of their children yeah. specifically. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a special place in anybody. And I want to say I don't condone like being disrespectful to the, the people you've made kids with. Yeah, but I yeah. think like it's provoked. Like, nah, you poked the bear and I've been Very trying much. to keep it cute yeah. mm-hmm. and calm and collective and you've done too much. So now I have to kind of tell you about yourself. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Wow. Well, shout yeah, out to D Wade, man. Shout out to all the black fathers D-Wade. out there, man. Yeah. Proud shout- of y'all, man. Yeah, that's my favorite you know basketball player. So, you know. Yeah, he can do no wrong sure. in my ass. Even when he, you know, he stepped out, but he didn't step out, to oh, be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. That nigga stepped out quick. No, he did out. not. No, he did not. Gabrielle Union put him on a break. Anyway, before we dive into that, uh, speaking of you my niggas gotta, that. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> going. I'm not even. <laughs> did, we did not ask. break and have that's a kid. Not, that's you, not what the break is for. But, like, he just got some pussy. It's not his Bruh, fault that he got played. It's not his fault that he that he. She probably had poked a hole in the condom. She probably poked a hole in the condom. And he, he should have known. You will, a, come on now, bro. You an NBA now, star. Bro. What do you <laughs> think is gonna happen? I don't nah, know, man. I'm sure that you I good. I brought my like, own. Like you're I not, said, Dwayne Wade can't advocate. do no wrong about eyes, so I will defend that bit. All right, you okay. right. He he. He not. There's no. There's no. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Khadija. I'm just going to ignore. <laughs> um, speaking of NBA players, are we feeling like, first of all, the Kyrie Irving situation? How are we feeling about that? I feel like we talked uh, about it a little bit last it's week. It's weird. It's very tough. Mm. It's very tough to discuss because I haven't, nobody's seen the documentary. <laughs> nobody's yeah. watched. That, okay. The, that's the part watched that's watched blowing me. The documentary is called Hebrews to Negroes, and I believe it discusses it. About, it. about the black Israelite. You heard the black yeah. Israelites? And yeah. pretty much believing that black people are uh, the quote unquote true chosen people of God's chosen and people. Is. And that the, <laughs> the yeah, hell. That, but it's the fact that the Jews he they are claiming that in the in the documentary, they claim that, that the Jews are not the like by blood, not the Jews of like biblical times. Oh, okay. And it's just a little it's a different it's, song. You, yeah, so it's and and you look, bro. They went. I was talking to my my brother about this. Like, bro, that they went through some shit. Yeah, yeah. That you can't ignore. Like, just mm-hmm. <laughs> like just because they quote, you know, they are doing, you know, they do just because financially they have mm-hmm. this uh, stigma of being financially well off. We can't yeah. forget that it 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 ain't, it ain't that far long ago. There's still people alive that went through. Concentration camps, yeah, like yeah, that shit crazy. was real. It's still a fresh wound. It's very yeah. fresh. It's fresher than slavery. At the yeah. moment, so it's yeah. So it's like, yo, you, we, we, I mean, you, you gotta be careful about what you're yeah. putting online and stuff like that. Like, if yeah. you, if you could watch it for your own educational purposes, yeah, you cool. know. But I feel like another problem is the fact that I don't like how the media was coming at Kyrie in the sense of like. He said, yo, I have all love for all races mm-hmm. and people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I have no hate to anybody. Mm-hmm. But but can you specifically say you're not anti-Semitic? And he's like, I don't hate anybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, let me let me make this you clear. Know what I don't is? hate anybody. I think the media gets so fixated on certain um They want the sound bite. Yeah, they want the soundbite, and I also think they get really fixated on phrases, like buzz buzz phrases and words. And so it's like me saying I don't have hate for anybody is me saying I'm not anti, um, I'm not anti-Semitic. Like that's I'm not racist. I'm not homophobic. Yeah, I'm not that's anything. me saying like I don't. I, I'm not. I, there's no hate in my body for anybody. Yeah. And so whatever uh, just, hate group or whatever, like I don't, I don't I do. subscribe I think, to that. I just think they're overreacting. I feel like, well, I think I they like do he's it. Already all apologized. The time. He's, I, he's, I feel like he does weirdo shit. Yeah, like, I, I mean, the I'm, Nets I'm, owner, the Nets owner seems to be going. He seems to be doing a lot. Yeah, for this mm-hmm. situation. Is and, he Jewish? Uh, 
I don't know. He his name. I don't forget. I forget his name. But it if he's Jewish, Jewish, I understand. And I'm not really. It, I but like, I just. Feel it's like, like he has to do it for the culture. Yeah, but I I just feel like it's like he already apologized and he donated like fifty million dollars. What else do they want? They but you want know what him, I, I they want him to stop being himself. Yeah. Yeah, and I I also think like it didn't help when LeBron kind of like Joseph Sy- said what he said and made it like what did what did he's, LeBron he's say? Chinese, bro. Oh, the owner. The owner's like Chinese and Canadian. Oh. Hey. But he could still be Jewish. He could be. Yeah, he still could be Jewish. I mean, religiously, yes, but <laughs> not ethnically um, speaking. You never know. Is, uh, oh, it's a discussion for another time. But um, um, but LeBron went on to say, like, he's like, I can't stand by anybody who supports putting down any group, and he's like, I don't. That means like. A religion, being anti-Semitic. Be- yeah. So I think like his commentary didn't help. And I think you have yeah. to think about LeBron is such a big figure in sports. And yeah. so I don't think LeBron was saying anything Why to like. Why did he even make a statement? Was I the whole think- NBA forced to make a statement all of a sudden? I really think, you know what it know. is? I think LeBron is someone of high stature. So it's like, ooh, let's see let's see if he's condoning this. Is I it also because think- he's attached to Kyrie? You know, they've been teammates and stuff. Yeah, uh, but they I don't even like think it's like years ago. I was just about to say they're not like the. I don't know. I just think it's because he's a big figure and they're trying to, like you said, create a soundbite and kind of. Did KD pick. have to? Did KD no. make a statement? Well, Le- well, they always have I LeBron didn't hear a comment on Kyrie KD. though. That LeBron's been commenting on Kyrie since they played together. People are always going to ask their opinion, uh, LeBron's opinion about Kyrie because he used to be like their oh, Batman and this, Robin. Oh, so this was a question. This wasn't like he put out an official yeah, post. So, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh. This he was got, a question. He got asked at a, uh, po- uh, After a press game. conference. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, it's weird. It's I, weird. Did he? Did, what did he? Even, he all he said was he like, just he said that he doesn't. Condone, con- yeah. Yeah, he doesn't. But he didn't say he he doesn't stand with Kyrie. He just says I don't condone hate. Yeah, and Kyrie doesn't. Come but I think it. you yeah. can sway that, and you can position that however you need to. to I, like, mean, I don't. Know. Is what was he specifically angle. asked? Everything. I don't. What was he specifically asked? I don't remember the specific question, but I know his okay. response was like, "I don't like, condone." Because I don't. That kind of stuff. If that's the case, if that's the case, then I don't understand why people even care. Yeah, like I mean, like would need some shit people are even about. associating that with him denouncing KD. I mean, Kyrie. He's not denouncing him. He just says, I don't support hate. The same thing that Kyrie said. I'm going to be honest. I think when people, when you are strange to to people or when you are something that people can't really fully gravitate towards or can't fully grasp, the next thing they're going to do is ostracize you, right? And so yeah, I think that we're, we're slowly seeing that with him. I think... I mean, the nigga was doing Sage in the Celtics um, in TD Garden. <laughs> well, he needed Which I think, he needed you know, that. but yes. which, I mean, if you know the history of Boston sports, I don't think that he was wrong in doing that. Can't blame but him, man. Oh, I can't but, blame him. But either. they took that and was like, oh, this man is like, I, I feel like they're trying to paint this picture like this nigga is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. And I don't think that's the case at all. No, it's, it's not. It's kind of like when, he um, what's his name? I keep, keep forgetting. He played with Michael. Um, Dennis Rodman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I forget Little, his name. Yeah, I feel they're like treat, they, yeah, they're treating him like that. You know Robin. what I mean? Very yeah. much so. And I feel like maybe y'all can like disagree. And the funny with thing that. is, though. the funny thing is, ten years from now they're gonna be praising that man, and that's the part that's gonna be weird about it. Um, but Kyrie is just a brother that seems to be to me very educated. Somebody who mm-hmm. is um just on another on a different yeah. frequency. Like he's right. really on a different frequency. He not really tripping on just the regular everyday stuff we're concerned right. about. Like he just wants his to be in tune with his spirit, in tune with his mind, like mm-hmm. just on another level. And some people won't get it. That's yeah, just, and, yeah. And, and, and that's another thing about this whole situation. I just really feel like nobody is tries to understand black people, but we have to just always like do person. something to adapt to everybody else. That's mm. not saying we that's not saying we shouldn't we he shouldn't say anything about being uh about not being anti Semitic. He said he he's not about hate, but it's like ain't nobody asking him um about the documentary. Mm-hmm. 
what he what was what was his takes. Nobody asked yeah. me what did he take from that documentary that right. made you want to post it. You know what I'm saying? Why do you do some of the things you do? Like nobody asked him that. Yeah. It's just like they literally just take their assumptions and then ask him about like their assumptions. Mm-hmm. Not mm. not why he's doing they don't they, it doesn't seem like they're trying to get to know the man. Somebody had to watch the documentary. Somebody had to. Because <laughs> This wouldn't be happening unless somebody watched it. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> somebody had to watch this shit because it just—I—I I, I just don't get it. I, I, it just don't I, make I don't no know. sense. It just—I just think with Kanye going crazy, well, acting going, acting like he was going crazy and saying yeah. all that anti-Semitic stuff that put the they, that put people on edge because he was like, yeah. oh, Def Con, whatever, and he was like threatening. But he was Jewish on a people. motherfucking roll with his yeah. shit. He was like, yeah, back he to was, back with his. Yeah, exactly. So like, no Drizzy. So Kyrie just if, if, <laughs> go ahead, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> if if Kyrie had sh- shared that documentary any other time, no one would even care. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I, d- I definitely yeah. think yeah. it probably would have That's it fair. probably would have made some like niggas head turn. Yeah. But yeah, I feel but like it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been, have been as deep. As deep. Yeah. I feel yeah. like people are like, what the fuck is this? If it was this documentary. Yeah. Like, the Kanye yeah. stuff kind of uh Kanye, yeah. Fucking Kanye. Get everybody in trouble. That's anyway. who needs to be suspended. <laughs> Fuck mm. Kanye. Well, what? he is getting suspended. Little does he know. Shit. Uh, yeah, we, that's a lot of shots team. was taken at that boy in his album. By yes, way. yes, it was a lot yeah. of shots. <laughs> Fuck Adidas! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I just want a name now. It's not Adidas' fault. Yeah, it's, it's, not, not it's, it's not Adidas' fault. Except they're a Adidas. German company. They What's can't be associated uh, with anything. Wait, Adidas? Like, yes, Adidas they're a German Puma. company. Yeah, yeah they, so Adidas I thought Adidas and, was uh, originated in Boston. No, no, no Germany. No, Germany. hold on, hold the fucking phone. I think These two brothers had a shoe store. These two brothers had a shoe I store. I think, no, no, no. I think it's Adidas and New Balance. No, it's not. It's not These, Adidas. These two brothers, two brothers had brothers. a shoe store and they start beefing. So one made Adidas, one made Puma. Yeah. Yeah. That's the story. They're two brothers. Of the biggest European brands. Trust me, I did my research because yeah, that's why I wear I've Pumas been, all the time. I did, a, I did a report in school about this. Yeah. That's the reason I know it. No, I believe you as I look it up. Yeah, so they got, they got to do everything. They, Adidas got to do everything they can to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. hey, 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 we, whoa, 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 we <laughs> y'all need to chill. That shit. We we German, but we wasn't with that shit. <laughs> oh, it was in Germany. Yeah. Wow, well, I, I have trust issues. Um, I guess so. We, cool. Okay. Speaking of speaking of trust issues and not not really uh fucking with niggas. Let's talk about her loss. Let's get into it. Go buy Let's a zipper weed, go. hit the club, Let, pay for about so 10 we, niggas to get in. We crunk lit in the bit. Yeah. And not him reading it <laughs> off the screen. So I want to kind of go through it track by track because I think this whole body of work was dope. And Let's I go. think each track kind of did something for hip hop and kind of paid homage to um, different, uh, you know, players in hip hop. So the first oh, one what? is is it's Rich Flex. What are Rich your opinions? Flex. What do you feel? Rich Flex. I thought great it was a great introduction. Hey, <laughs> the, the, in, great the introduction to an album is now like, be it's like the bar is even 10 times higher. Can I just say something? Um, young yeah. Nudie. I want to give a big shout out to Young Nudie. I think he got some of the best like wordplay of a nigga that just talks over tracks. Mm. Um, he's done this a couple times. I think he got one in, in one of J.I.D.'s songs. He's done this on the Dreamville uh, records. This nigga mm. just know how to talk over some shit. Yeah, I ain't I ain't heard his music. Is that is that nigga, who that was? Yeah, young. Nudie. I did not know that. Nigga wow. just be talking over shit, and I and I, I rock with it heavy. So. I like one or two songs. I can't name them, but I heard two songs that I've liked. From I, I appreciate it. I think his. I think it's just oh fuck it off. Go, go, Kadisha, go. This oh, album Jesus. is so fire. Oh God. We're gonna take our time with it, bruh. Uh you know what I mean? Slow strokes, my brother. Uh so I love it and I love the transition um in that in the one song. I think there was three transitions, no? Or two? It was, it was yeah, two. It was like the, two, um, yeah, two, three. The twenty four sample. The twenty four went fucking crazy. crazy. You know he took a shot at Soldier Boy. 
Yeah, he did. Yeah, he took a shot. My thing is Drake. He he put you on Drake. Got he definitely he, the phone. internet clones got him kissing through the phone. Stick to the stones, crow by crow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, crow man. by crow. Yeah. Drake, man. Yeah, that shit was hard. I've been this hype hard. for a Drake album by life. That's um, I one. Rich Flex. I think it was a good lead up. It's like a all right, boom. We here with it. Yeah. Wasn't it a great like? My bad. Let me speak on the album in general, right? Mm. I feel like they did a great job at balancing your like excitement for each song. I don't yeah. know. I, mm. There's a word for it, but it was they kept you they kept you pretty balanced throughout the whole album. Like it was some yeah, there was no dip. You high, yeah. And mm-hmm. Some songs brought you back down to base but, level, but it was never like I'm bored. I and wouldn't even say that you would. Yeah, there was a trend, and on some yeah. songs it was like, oh shit. And then you know, but it was never. It didn't plat like I don't think it yeah, plateaued. Yeah. And like it wasn't song, like just stagnant. And this yeah. song is what set the tone of the album. Like, yes, this song is a song where you knew that oh they're gonna be talking their shit on this album big time. Mm-hmm. Like they, big they time. like you, like Drake is like you know he's king of the subliminal. I feel like this album is the first time he didn't use any subliminal. He barely used any. Sub- he did subliminals and he no was this like, nigga Whoa. was direct as fuck. Ex- Bad direct. I think very direct, direct and was like, was oh, I got names. fucking time. Yeah, yeah. And I, 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 I like that. Twenty one was endorsing this. Like yeah, he, in an he, interview, he was saying he was like, "Nah, I back my nigga up, like hundred yeah. percent." He was like, "I was the one telling him that, yeah, talk." He wouldn't shit. have done the project with him if he didn't. Exactly, mm. and like this is this is what I like that this is. I think this is the version of Drake I like because so, I for some reason. I feel like internally, I feel like Drake wants to say some shit, but he just yeah. tries to say it in a in a pretty way instead of just yeah, saying. Yeah, he like he decorates it. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And like just here, like, I'm missing something. It's an authenticity. Right? It's like it's, it's like so. It's like it feels like this is truly himself. Him, like what he really thinks and wants to say. Interesting. Story. I, I don't when know. Ta- if talking I think... shit. Talking shit wise. Talking shit wise. Okay. Okay. I can oh, see that. Oh, okay. I, I, I can like... see that. Like, cause he's somebody um, that doesn't do it often, and so he bites his tongue and keeps it cute. I will say that he keeps it like very like business like for the most part, and he's been be, real good for the subtweets. I might be tripping. Yeah. Uh, well, for one, I appreciate that Drake does this over records, and he don't be all over the uh, social like media tweeting with this and shit. shit. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like uh, I, I think I mean it's, it's like yeah, we know. Who he's talking to, but mm-hmm. you know, he only directly. Well, we can assume we don't really firmly time. know. Yeah, which which makes it a subliminal, right? Right. Yeah, if it's like you can't, but this is the first time he's not. You can't. This one is like blatant. So what is? So, yeah. What the only blatant one was Serena husband last time I checked. What else was blatant? We just said one. Internet clones got him kissing through the phone. That's not subliminal. That's. It's a Soldier mm-hmm. Boy song. But he does that all the time. I'm just saying. But that's I not a subliminal. That's the way. This that's is my right, thing. You know is exactly like his talk his about play on song. words is so fucking strong. And okay. that's the song. And that's the same song that Soulja Boy said that Drake copied. Okay, I got Ooh, you. Okay. okay, remember that interview, Drake. Okay. He done okay. put that nigga Drake. We're talking about yeah, Drake. It's, it's, it's fair. Uh, he definitely held his tongue over the years. Yeah, and he's like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna make some money off of this instead of going on interview. All right. All right. I respect it. So, all right. So that's Rich Flex. Now, major distribution. I... Major distribution. Oh, brother. Um, <laughs> I think, was this the one where he was, no, I'm thinking about another song. I'm going to save that. I think I'm what, thinking what? about where he made the reference. He was like, I get on songs and think labels need you. I don't uh, think that was, I think, I think that's, that's privileged rappers. Nah, privileged yeah, that's rappers. privileged rappers. This is the one when right. he's like, uh, Bad Bunny Money. Hey, and he not fucking lying. Robbery. Yeah, Bad Bunny is really out here <clears throat> taking niggas' bags. I, I just Drake, need y'all to own in. Drake charged the same prices. Yeah, but you know what it is? I think you got to think about it. Drake, Drake was dropping music, but he wasn't. He hasn't been touring. When was the yeah. last show he did? The last tour he did was with Migos. With, with Migos, R.I.P. And that was, you know, R.I.P. Uh, takeoff. But my thing is that that's a long time. He makes bread off of his streaming. Yeah, but. Bad Bunny been streaming crazy and making that tour bread. So he's really mm-hmm. out here getting them numbers up. Dropping music videos that are actually documentaries, like 30-minute documentaries on Puerto Rico. 
It, I I gotta watch this nigga. I ain't watch. I don't know none about. Yeah, Bad Bunny. Nigga. That's a bad. Bad Bunny's legit. Um, the Bad uh, Bunny. What's it called? Oh, one thing I love about this album is the rich nigga shit that goes on through this uh through this project. Oh, I just want to I just want to point <laughs> some shit out as we go through. Right. Uh, <laughs> Talk Drake had a Drake had a line that said buying bins is bins out of spite. What luxury car? Is made by Mercedes Benz. Mercedes? Mm-hmm. Benz? Maybach. Oh, okay. <laughs> so wait, run run at because you wait. yo, Tyler be talking in tongues. Run it wait. back. He so said, Mercedes buying Benz, Benz Benz is out of spite. Buying Benz Benzes. What's a Benz Benz? What's a Benz to a Benz? A Maybach? A Maybach? Okay. Maybach pull. So, so he bu- saying, hey, so he's saying. buying Maybachs out of spite? Yes. Okay. You know how fucking wealthy you got to be? Let's stop the mic. Maybach, so so Maybach goes for around 215000 Shit. Yeah. Me. That's the cost of my house, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's about well, was the cost of my he life. What are you talking about? That God damn. <laughs> Can you imagine crazy. a car note on that motherfucker? Oh Not that he has car crazy, note type of bro. energy, but. He got, nah, he probably crazy. leases his cars. That's the smart way to do it. Um, oh, God. He says, buying Benz, Benz. Oh, he did. say Lisa yeah. DeVos. <laughs> oh my God. So, so you're you're not saying that Maybach is just the luxury branch of Benz. I'm that, saying, that wasn't what you were saying, because I was very confused. No, no. He he was saying the Benz, like the Benz of a Benz. So you know how we think of Benz as luxury. Yeah. But yeah. there's another level. Okay. Okay. I get it now. The Benz I get it. I get it now. To somebody who got a Benz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Maybach. okay okay i get it like damn i need that made back if you got a bench you're gonna be like damn I need... okay i get it i get it indeed indeed but over my head and i came back i caught it <laughs> came back and caught it i did the thing that kids do shit. was that the thing the kids do they tap the head boy disrespectful shit right there i i cannot <laughs> what else about this song? What else about this song? Uh, I think this song is cool. It wasn't. Yeah. I, like I, I think this was one of a song, like one of the songs that I wasn't like, oh my god, but it was definitely like, I like it. I fuck with it. Great oh, beat. he is great um, beat on this song though. He is showing a lot of love to the young niggas in this in this album. He's pretty much used every flow of every popular young nigga on this album. So this flow and or bitch. Like, You let me 20, know. Yeah. 21 used uh, uh, t- uh, Megan's flow on, um, I think, I forgot what song it is. I think it's Rich Flex. Okay. Okay. He, on this okay. one. She has like writing, she has writing credits on one of the songs. Oh, oh yeah, no. yeah. She, yeah, that's because he used a, Yeah, he that's because he used, he used like the, a flow. Yeah, you're right. He used the right, Savage yeah, thing. Yeah, I know what I said. He used the Savage said. joint. He used the Savage joint. Yeah, he yeah. used the Savage flow. Uh, this one was Nardo Wick, though. This okay. one was definitely that Nardo Wick type, that mm. Nardo Wick type flow. I, I, I rock with him though, even though I don't be understanding what he's saying, but I like, <laughs> Damn, I like how I like how Drake Drake showed love just through the flows, just through the mm-hmm. flows he was using. Yeah, I could see that. Um, I think on bullshit, I love bullshit. I think it's it was, a- I think this is the song you were talking about, Jalen, where they like back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I uh, this is the music video. This is the one they did the music video. For? Yeah, yeah, they did the music yes. video for. Mm-hmm. Shout out to uh, Michael B. Hey, that oh, nigga, yeah, yeah, when hey, they, they that used the right nigga on that one. <laughs> 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 this nigga said, fuck that her. Was, it's her loss. That was calculated as hell. <laughs> oh, it sure was. That He's was like, calculated as hell, bro. This is the song, this is the song where he, uh, where, where he says the 20, maybe I'd make a 20 to a 10, make the 10 to a 5, mm. to another 5. Yep. Damn. Golly. You know he takes a shot at XXX on this song. Maybe I should do a 20. Maybe I should break that 20, do a 10. Maybe I should break that 10, do a 5. And if they go live, do a 5 again. Is this the one? Add up to 30? If, huh, no, the, on. the, he, he goes, and then the next line is, if, if, if he, he held, held his, his tongue, tongue on that live, he'd be alive again. Live. Damn. Yes, that shit. That's what some of these rap niggas XXX. be too. Too too talkative on the oh, lives. Hold on, hold on. Explain to me how this is a shot at X. Because at X, before he passed, was on live mm-hmm. talking about Drake. And this is the conspiracy that Drake had X killed. Huh. 
There's a conspiracy theory saying that X he had X killed. And then he and then X also said in that live, if I were to die, it's Drake. So <laughs> taking a shot at him. I, I'm right, right. It's crazy, right? <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Canva. Canva is a graphic design platform used to create social media graphics, presentations, posters, documents, and other visual content. The app includes templates for users to use to design whatever they want for the free. The platform is free and free to use, but also offers a paid subscription, Canva Pro, which will unlock an even larger library of graphics, images, templates, and videos to add to your designs. So please tap the link in the description and get started. This, that's why he's talking. I mean, that's why I say he's talking his shit on this album. He's he's taking hey, and shots. I think this is the song where there's this like French guy. Yes, at the end. Oh, yo, yo yes. that's the uh, <laughs> that's the head of hype beast. Hi- oh, that's really? who that is. Yeah, that's why he's like twenty one in Dubai. And, and I that feel like, like that's this at Kanye when he was like. Fuck, fuck, uh, Paris Fashion Week. <laughs> like he's like, he's like what's Fashion Week to me. We don't say catch my week. drive. When he oh, said catch man. by a drive, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, what part? Okay, so there was something he said there. Uh, oh, my gosh, shit. He said something, and I was like, damn, that's deep. He said something about, damn. Hold on, I got it. it. Uh, da, da, da. I'm, I'm looking it up. Uh, you try to flex next Next to me on the red light with your ugly whatever. Flex your most expensive no, car. No, it's not toy. that. I drive four mm-hmm. cylinder. I come I drive, from nothing. I come from but nothing. I'm doing but something. something. And you hey, that one, that one, that one. You I come from nothing, but drive. I'm doing that's, something. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, when he said, you cannot catch my drive, I was like, oh, that shit was hard. You cannot yeah. catch my drive. It's valid. Uh, I just feel I'm like, bird hey. <laughs> I'm bird, but that's who I am. <laughs> In Paris. I'm Paris. We Paris. We Hey, yeah, is that he was black. Good. Is he black? No, he not I don't black. Know. Oh, I don't oh, damn. In Dubowi, right. yeah. We Doesn't haven't talked about twenty one. I think Savage Dubai. Once. Yeah, we did. Right? Dubowi, that's Dubai. Dubai, the boy. He said. He said the boy. Yeah, yeah. That's not Dubai. What's the boy? Drake. Twenty one Savage and the boy. Yeah, twenty one Savage and the boy. And the boy, okay. The reason, the reason why we. This is to why, children, it's important to really work on your enunciation because he's French. It's his accent. Yeah. He's French. All right, all right. Let's, I'm just saying. I thought he was talking about the boy. The reason why like, we listen to oh, Twenty One and the Boy. <laughs> well, anywho, uh, Twenty. Now, this is what I would say. The album, I felt like I was gonna get more Twenty One, and I think this album just made me want a Twenty One album. You know, it's been a long time since we got it. Because he's time. he's been he's been kind of been not to say yeah, he's been chilling because he's been on features. I feel like, but I really been, just want a twenty one piece. It's been since like episode ten of the podcast since he dropped the album. This is episode ten. Yeah, yeah he also like was going through that whole British situation. No, like, that was before the album. Yeah, that was that, before oh, he dropped Savage right, Mode too. Right, you're very he right. He just been chilling. He did drop another album though. He dropped the uh, soundtrack for this uh, for the movie Spiral. Okay. Mm, oh yeah, yeah. With you're Chris right. Rock, the Saw that. movie. I did that not was like, watch that. but that was, was also that two years ago. Yeah, that was about two years ago too. So mm. yeah, no, he's been chilling. I think it was just, I think there was a lot of Twenty One on there, but I just was like Drake mm-hmm. overwhelmed, not overwhelmed, but like Drake's. I wouldn't. I, I think you're over. I think you're Drake, giving it too much. He wasn't I mean, on Drake's I, presence. I, I, it was. It was overwhelmingly Drake's album. I mean, it, it, featuring we kind of talked about Savage. this. We kind of talked about this last week, man. Like. Drake, when it comes to rapping, Drake is top tier, and you got Twenty One who gives you a certain vibe. But when it yeah. when it comes to these bars, it, it's hard to keep up with a nigga like yeah, Drake. yeah. I I think he needed Twenty One with him on this album to uh for the savageness, like for the savageness, so we can yeah. yeah. It was like was, he's like, hey, can you come here with me so I can say my shit. Yeah, and have a reason to say my shit. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm I feel like he just was used to 21, so he could as a cat as like a catalyst, so he could shoot his shit out. Yeah, because it's kind of like you know when your cousins like you, you gotta come with me so I could talk to this person. Yeah, it's like, but you're there just to like in case shit pop off. Like, now nah, exactly. you good? Like, 
Yeah. It's I like, it. imagine you popping off by yourself and you never pop off before. Mm. People are going to be like, what the fuck? But if you're with no, somebody who, be, who, who you know is hard and you pop, it's kind of like he's flexing with it. Yeah, like you just said. Like he just like need the backup. Yeah. 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 Uh, I didn't uh back outside, boys. That was cool. That was a joint just with Drake. Um, yeah. there was some rich not... nigga shit on here. Uh, right wrist on Van Cleef. Y'all heard of Van Cleef before? I don't think nope. I'm in the tax bracket to know what the fuck that is. I don't know what that yeah. means. I've heard this, it in a song. This is uh, this is just this is just jewelry. Nothing crazy. They do bracelets, watches, and all that shit. The most expensive thing I saw on their website was a watch that was about twenty six racks. Shut your mouth on a bracelet. <laughs> That, uh, that, hey. Honestly, yeah. So there was a bracelet that was twenty six thousand, and then there was a watch that was one hundred fourteen thousand. I was gonna Shut say, I was gonna button. say, I was like twenty six thousand for a bracelet <clears> doesn't <throat> sound that bad. Twenty six thousand oh, for a bracelet for, for a rich bracelet. people. That- for rich people, no, I don't give a for rich, fuck. When I hear rich people that's, buying shit, hey, I always, t- that's when my Tyler kick in, and I'm like, nah, go ahead and put it back. You're no, good. no, but I'm saying like, like people like, like every time I hear about like the the fucking. Jewelry and shit. I always hear like, yeah. "Oh, I dropped a hundred thou. Twenty six thou. Those sound that just expensive to, compared ridiculous. to all the shit they always be talking." You know, that's fair. That's fair. I'm not in the fair. rich in the two rich niggas. You know, yeah, yeah. Like they always be talking about mills and hundreds of thousands. They never talk twenty six thou. Like, tw- and you gotta understand, <laughs> like he's spending this on women. He, I mean, we'll get yeah. to another. We'll get to another song where he's, he's a feminist. About it. Yeah. This song but. was a. This song was. It wasn't a weak song. I like it the was vibe. just like. I oh. like the vibe of it, but it was just like. I like again, the, the vibe uh, is cool, but I the, wouldn't the, like. It's yeah. a good placeholder. The big baby placeholder. dram. The big baby drum. Uh, this. Oh yeah, it's in this one, right? <laughs> tried to bring the drama to me. He didn't know we cha- He didn't know how we chat y'all slide. <laughs> I was I, like, ooh. nigga, how many times you gonna tell him that I took your song? <laughs> And He's like, he said, "I took his song. Do something. You ain't gonna do nothing. No, not at all. <laughs> oh man, um, right. I, I really thoroughly enjoyed Privilege Rappers. I think this that's a way of is him my saying, top three. This is yeah. my like, top three. On this one, goes hey, hard. y'all niggas got it like very sweet, and I don't think y'all are appreciating what the fuck y'all got. Kind of a thing. That's the energy I got off this. Mm-hmm. This definitely was in my top three. I really love the, the vibe on this joint." Uh, this this is some riding music. I'm I'm getting in the car, and this could be the mm. first thing I turn on. You know, ooh, this is where Twenty One goes hard goes off though. Hey, it was Twenty One goes I, can off I on this song. Very name true. when this nigga said. I think this is the one where he said you coming over at one a.m. and you sitting on the edge of the bed. Yeah. I think this is the one. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. And I was one. just like, I'm not gonna hold you. Uh, some bitches be shy. <laughs> That's it. We just be shy. That's you shy? Right. You oh, hold on, he hold said, on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. You decide to come over at one in the morning and you shy? My th- you could have hey, been shy could, from the house, hey, bro. Hey, bro. You ever? Yeah, hey. I got. But, you have but then he goes on to say, "I sent the tongue out emoji and the eggplant emoji," but she must have misread that. She must have just. But it not takes understand. a lot of it, it yeah. takes a lot of balls in there just to get there. So it must went so, over her head. <laughs> I, yeah, I it must. Understand. I think it went. Up, I don't think she. Was, I think she Texas thought she wanted to talk out eggplant. What's, what, he yeah, that shit was out. funny. When as he hell. said catch her, when, the next live. When he said catch him outside the studio, make him repeat what he said. I was like, oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> what you say, nigga? Like run it up. Can my, you run, imagine? Run. You you real hard and twenty one's like no 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 don't worry about it. I'm about to pull up. Yeah, say that again. Run he that said, back. How you come over the spot when you know it's that time of the month? <laughs> but keep reading but he's like at least can I you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know? he say that <laughs> yo this is a, this is some fucking fuck boy yeah. shit how this is it but, 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 fuck but, but shit, explain but to me how that's so, some fuck boy shit because because we think it we think it inside but when you say oh, it oh but 21 don't give a fuck it. But, no, 21, no, but that's the thing. That's why I just said twenty one stated his intentions. Yes. At that I point, think, but and and at multiple points, right? Because like maybe the first time you wasn't hearing me, sis. Yeah, because you wasn't really picking up on the messages. But I'm yeah. sure if that's with time I'm on, I'm answering the door, dick out. <laughs> yeah, you, you feel what I'm? Khadija, you know what I'm saying? I, Either Khadija, I, I man, I'm gonna tell you right now. We thank we God we I don't got a penis because I I would just be out here just swinging. Okay, okay, let me. Okay, he's pulling up with his no shirt and sweatpants, but you know what time it is? 
Oh, yeah. like, no shirt. Yeah. The lights yeah. is off. Wait, like, we're go, not, we go, not no looking shirt. to have a conversation. You go, no shirt, sweats, no drawers. That's what, there that's, you go. that's what there you, you do. Go. Exactly. <laughs> so she, you know what I mean? So that's two. Now yeah. I gotta, now I gotta be raw and like, now I gotta be vulgar with you because you're not, you, I gave you ample opportunities to pick up what the fuck I'm putting down. But it's the one a.m. for me, bitch. You drove over there, <laughs> one a.m. The to sit on. You, we grown at this point. We are grown. Two that's old. crazy. Some nah, bitches be shy a, though. That that's one doing? of his. Uh, that was one of my favorite lines from Twenty One. On that joint. <laughs> <laughs> I, this song was funny. I like this song. It was. I think this was, was like a, rap comedy. Yeah, it was it was it was like her. Like I liked it. I liked the whole vibe. And then the next song, Spin About You, I was like, yeah. Mm. Oh, I need something. I love love the hook. Slowed it down real quick. Let's slow it it down. For you, baby girl. (laughs) I I like I like the hook, man. Twenty one did his thing, of course. Um, Them niggas is just nasty, though. Yeah. Yeah, like (laughs) it's just. Oh God! I mean, this whole thing is just, I yeah. I feel like we just gotta realize they they deal with different type of women, yeah, bitches. Yeah, yeah. He, and it, I I think I don't know what song it was, but he was basically like, "Nah, you need somebody to get somebody else to replenish your account." Basically, yeah. like the type of bitches I feel like they kind of fucking with are, and I feel like, and I think we had this conversation before. I feel like celebrities recycle the same bitches too. Yeah, right. So they recycling the same bitches. At this point, you know what they own. They own like, hey, what can you do for me type shit. And but I also blame Drake because I think Drake is a little too generous with his shit. I get it, mm-hmm. but I think he's generous because he wants love. But I don't think he really once he want gets love. love once he gets love, he's like, oh, I don't know what to do with this. And then he's like, fuck you. you know? I don't know. Fuck you and your I, husband's a groupie. I, I feel like there's some niggas Yo. that just like, hey, man. Fuck you, your husband's a groupie. I just want to treat That was you. The, what he was saying on that song, just in case yeah. we were like, clear. Is it okay to snuff somebody if if uh, if they call you a groupie? Like no. if, if somebody says, if someone was like, say to you, Tyler, hey, say, say, to, say to Drew. Your husband's a groupie. Are you allowed to snuff that nigga for saying that to your wife? No. No. I snuff a nigga. Don't it do depends that. on who the nigga is. Yeah. If I don't know this nigga, I'd be like, this don't even make sense. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, if, if but I, you if know I, this, you know he had history with with you, with, you, with 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 her back in the past. This hypothetical person. Okay. Okay. Okay, hypothetical person. Does it deserve getting snuffed? Does he deserve getting snuffed now? I feel like Jalen wants to snuff this person. That's what. Yeah, I mean. no, no. no I was, I, if I was if I was Serena's husband, I'm snuffing Drake on sight. My thing is, I got Serena though. Yeah, but I'm still snuffing him. But I won. Period. I'm still swinging. That nigga been, you got to think, he been rapping about Serena he's since so far so, gone. Yeah, That's he's all so he's men- wanted. He's so I'm mentally fucked swinging. up That's that all you're he's still wanted. talking about it. And my thing I, is, you okay. so fucked up that you bringing up my man okay. now. Maybe That's maybe, how fucked up you are maybe, about it. Okay, I maybe I'm not dub. swinging. Maybe I'm not swinging, but I know I'd want to swing. I'm like, bro, my wife out here walking around thick. When y'all say it like, I get to hit that. When y'all what say it like talking? that, when y'all say it like that, when y'all say it like that, when y'all say it like that, I understand. With a why? You don't. Yeah. I don't. I, I understand. You Yuck. got me. Maybe I won't swing because it got you. Those but are I mean, mentally, points. you swinging, right? Mentally, yeah, mentally. Oh. That's my first thought. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mentally, that, that was my my first thought was like I'm swinging. But then yeah. what you start thinking, it's like yeah. I'm, and oh, and you know. these are these are not these are not no regular. You Joe know what smokes. I would do? Actually, these are some no. money motherfuckers. You know yeah, what I would do? I mean, actually, yeah. you know what I would do? Actually, after, if oh, once I heard that I'm a groupie. Take her out to a nice dinner, lay the rose petals out, and fuck my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Real selfie, groupie shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would hit him up like that, like groupie shit. Be right back. <laughs> Set up a selfie of us in bed. Yeah, I'd be petty. I'm petty. I think I might be petty. Matter of fact, I'm gonna send a selfie of her. You know what I would scalp. do? I'd post a picture of us. I would post like a, us in bed, happy family with the daughter with the baby. Watching groupie and crew. Watching, ah! watching, watching the grassy. <laughs> oh shit! The season where you get capped. Yes. <laughs> Imagine, yeah. Oh my god! Watch that oh. episode. This is my if, favorite yo, part. Flips if, the camera. If her, 
<laughs> if her <laughs> husband did that, was like laid up on the couch with her and the baby, and then was watching that scene, and I'd be like, yo, he's the realest nigga of all time. Yeah, yeah. You deserve Serena, bro. You deserve her. You won you deserve, it. You, you deserve a Serena if you do some savage shit like that. You deserve it. Her uh, baby, beautiful, beautiful baby Olympia. Oh, that's such a cute name. Okay, I want to make sure I'm mindful of niggas' time. I think uh, going, I think we talked about the ones that I wanted to talk about. Is there another song we haven't touched base on that y'all Pussy like? Pussy oh. and Millions. Yes. Oh, I want to make this clear. I want to make this real clear, and I'm about to preach real quick. Okay. There's a lot of niggas out there that claim they want to do some shit with their life, claim they want to be successful, but you niggas don't want the problems that come with getting money. Yeah. Get on the mic. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's just be real. You niggas want the money and not the problems that come mm-hmm. with it. And it just ain't like that. At this it point, motherfucking bring like on the problems. Am yeah, I right? Exactly. Bring <laughs> them <laughs> with yeah. you. Oh, give me That's the a- problems. <laughs> This we, is some motivational exactly. shit. I had to put this on repeat about three, four times. And shout out to Travis motherfucking Scott. That nigga killed Ate a that transition shit oh to his God. part. I was like, hey, come get him, Trav. Get on a fucking mic. He killed that shit. Yo. 21, come to me with all the smoke. That's what I need to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, was I, right. I, this shit was nice. We got to talk <laughs> about Circle Loco. And we got oh. We got to address this song. Okay, go ahead. What what are we addressing? You, we got to address the Megan, the Megan line. The line. I just feel like I'm allegedly not. Allegedly about I'm not going to speak too much on it. No, um, you're going to speak all we want about it. No, we got to get on it. I'm not going to speak too much on it. Out. I think my thing is I feel like I don't give a fuck if it was about it. It was too adjacent to it. Um, I think that this poor girl, I won't say this poor girl cause she <laughs> not poor, but I think that there, you can own, like, imagine being, having something traumatic happening to you and everywhere you look, it's like being mentioned. Not only is it being mentioned, but it's almost like it's being used for clout type shit. And I would just imagine that that's frustrating and annoying. And especially because it's a legal matter. So she can't probably talk about it in the capacity in which she would like to. Um, and also it just seems like, and I'm not saying this is Jerry referring to her as a liar, but there's been other incidences where people are like, oh, she's lying about you. And so I feel like oftentimes black women do not feel, and I'm gonna give my backstory. Often women, black women do not feel supported and seen by black men. And so this is a moment where it's like, cool, another example of somebody in Drake's power, right? Because Drake has a lot of power and somebody of his stature using that and not, uh, using that to uplift me, but more so like add shit to the shit pile. But that's just how I feel about it. I think like if it's not about that, I think it's very close. But I will say that it was very method, like thought out. Like this wasn't like by accident. Yeah, this is the reason he did it. That's the reason yeah. he made. The, that's the reason he made the line. Because the next line he goes, um, she don't even get the joke, but she's still smiling. Khadija, if the situation happened with two men and Drake made this line. Mm-hmm. Is it does it have the same effect? I feel like the the issue is um it, it I feel like when men when something happened to a man, it's like a don't I don't know, it's bad like, it doesn't feel as bad. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Especially the type of like in this kind of industry is like, oh, okay, well, you know, this is the life we live type shit. But yeah. I think in when this it happens industry, uh, my bad, but in this industry, a mm. lot of these female rappers be like, nah, you gonna respect me as a rapper, rapper. So it's almost like, and this is just a take. I, I mm. feel like he shouldn't have said this shit, but it's almost like, all right, if you wanna be in this game, you wanna be treated as a rapper, rapper, then you yeah. gonna get these, this is the same way I'm you getting get these shots from all these other niggas. Mm. To yeah, all okay. these other okay. niggas. You know what I'm saying? I think, that's valid. Yeah. I think, okay. Now, if you want to be looked at, you know, with, if you really with, want to be respected as a female, let us know. I ain't going to say shit. I'm going to be honest with you, Tyler. I kind of agree with that point. I I agree with that point. Like, if this is the field she want to be in, she want to be in this rap shit, she could take the, she got to take these shots. Not literally, but like, she, <laughs> she got to be, she got to be able to take these shots because literally. rappers but I think, I think, come at rappers 
all the time. All yeah. the time. And I, but I think had it been like, let, prime example, had it been like nobody said shit and then this came out, that would have been different versus like, yeah. it's been headline after headline, but, motherfucker. And we're not just talking about, niggas are not just saying this in rap. And I think yeah, that's my issue. That's if the, this is only is the thing true. that we're saying in bars, cool, right? But niggas are saying this like, in interviews, in but talks, now we're putting that, in songs. You know what I mean? Drake's I think problem, I think though. Drake. The only I don't think I'm not saying this is problem, yeah. but I'm saying like you kind of got to know what you're taking I, on. I think Drake. I think Drake knew this line was going to be controversial. He mm. this is exactly what he this is calculated. Yeah, I, but I think this is Drake. To to, to pop Tyler's point, I feel like that's how Drake's thinking. Mm-hmm. Like of her, like she's a threat to me, to my shit. So she, uh, he, no he took way. the shot. No you don't way. think so? Ain't no way you don't think he's world. taking the shot at her? Drake thinks because Meg the Stallion is a threat to that nigga. Now, okay, you, maybe not a threat, now, but like, do you, think, do you think it's like I, I, a? I see it as a compliment because he's I not talking about a sign whole, of respect. He's not, like she's yeah, a, I see like, it as respect, not a yeah. threat. Okay, maybe not a threat. I could see it as a like a kudos, like hey, I'm you know. If I you're worthy you to get a thing. shot from Drake, if you're worthy to get a shot from Drake, I mean, that means you must be doing something. Because, yeah, yeah. it is true. People are talking about it. Because if that's you think also about it, a testament to her career and her talent. Because yeah. if she was in fucking, what's her face? One of them dolls got shot. We ain't talking, like, none of them cash dolls, Asian dolls. Oh, one of them I was dolls like, get dolls? shot. What the fuck Don't, is he talking about? One, hey, one hey, of them get shot. Is, un- is very God respected. forbid. Hey, God not forbid. too much one on cash doll, though. No, Shout out to my respected. Pisces sister. But, but, but still at the same time, cash doll get shot. They ain't going to be talking about it as much as they talk about Megan get shot. We don't know that. Megan's here. But Megan, but Megan's Megan's the one Megan's the one that they're pushing. Everybody loves Megan the Sound. She's in fucking an MCU. She ain't no regular. Period. She ain't no regular regular level female Real rapper no more. Or woman woman that raps. She ain't no man, regular let's, regular. let's also, I mean, look, man. I'm, I, I like, want to say this because, I, like I said, I want to be mindful of time. I want to say this. I think that there's a lot of controversial shit in this album. Not like that, but I think there's a lot of shit that we can pinpoint and it, draw it back to somebody else and be like, oh, this was shade towards this person. Yeah. What I would say is the thing that makes me feel like, all right, you got that, is because she has writing credits on one of the albums, on one yeah. of the tracks. Yeah. So it's kind of like I, a, I, I, you know, I really not think... to say not to say it's okay, but what I'm saying is, do you, you know, damn. do you think this is like that was like him? Like we could keep going, we could keep going. We don't worry about me. Um, okay. Uh, do you think this is Drake? <laughs> Drake doing that was like, hey, I took this shot. You ain't gonna like it, but here's a little, here's a little something. You get a little, little bit off the, off the. Album. I wouldn't say because it was twenty one who, who twenty one is the one. Yeah, that, but that yeah, sampled her. True, flows, but like, so. but Drake also has to okay it too because it's also his album. Mm. I mean, yeah, what it like, is. like, like if they still gotta get cleared by everybody who's part of the album. Just, it depends on which song. Because Drake could be like, oh, well, well, we don't want to pay her. Don't change that. Fair. I, I, fair. I get that, but I, w- I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that was his reasoning behind it. Like, hey, I broke you off a piece, so yeah. kind of chill out. True, but I'm just saying. I'm like, it. do you think like that? He was like, oh, this, this, he, we got this. Letter, let me take a shot, or like, like, oh, I, oh, I give her. I'm giving her a little bit of something. I'm gonna take a shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think? Like, uh, I think that's a reach. About that. I mean, think reach? They ain't get shit. I think that's a reach. To, I don't think he gave anything to Ice Spice. He took a little shot at Ice Spice. But hey. he did. But he. But she don't got her write it credit. He did take a shot at Ice Spice. Yeah. Hey. Yo, this the, when this bitch said I'm a ten though, like girl, she enjoying yo, a fucking honestly, brunch. Though, honestly though, if you if you are Ice Spice, I'd be like word. I'd be yeah, like word Drake too. Did just call it a ten. Yeah. That's like oh. Like Drake that's crazy, bitch. He smashed. You didn't get nothing. He's out here buying bitches Maybachs and right? Chanel bags well, and shit. You ain't I'm gonna get just shit. be fair. I, I'm gonna say I, don't think I she know got Drake. Nothing. Drake said he is out here. Look, he was, you know, he looking for a female artist for the label. You know, that could have been a yeah. uh, thing. You know? I don't Drake, think you knew good and what that bitch was not good. She <laughs> definitely. <laughs> He's she like, yeah, I'm about to clap cheeks. Y'all are bugging. She definitely got something out of that. She didn't get nothing. They nobody was gonna be talking about that fucking song if Drake didn't say that song was fire. That's valid. I didn't. Also, the only reason I listened to the damn song. I mean, I only know the first twenty-seven words. That, well, come on. That is that there is that that many words in the song? Is that is twenty-seven words in the song? I don't even know. No, there's more. She don't even know the rest of the words. 
Do you want to start a remote podcast? Well, we have the perfect website for you, Riverside.fm, where you can record remote podcasts and video interviews and studio quality from anywhere, used by over 70 plus thousand creators and Fortune 500 firms. Riverside allows you to upload your video and audio while recording on your web browser itself. That means you don't have to download any apps onto your computer. Riverside also allows you to edit your video and audio on the platform and cut up clips from your recording for social media. So if you're thinking of starting a, a podcast, it's as easy as clicking the link in the description. Thank you. Now let's get back to the show. That shit took me out. Like, bitch, how you don't know your shit? She just stopped and started twerking? Yeah. And then she's like, <laughs> twerk time. Shake that ass. It's like, girl, Goodness. she might as well do an OnlyFans. I feel like she would do a really good OnlyFans. Oh, yeah, for sure. She would, like, do well. A, but my from? thing is, the only way she could get my respect is if she does a drill version of Annie. Stop playing with it. Isn't that what she did? Where? No, no, she, she didn't do that. That wasn't. No, that wasn't she did some SpongeBob song. shit. That, yeah, that's what it was. It was some SpongeBob shit. Yeah, she needed Even to do a drill version like, of Annie. It's a hard knot in the neck. Ooh, I'm telling you, that shit will go done that. crazy. I think someone, someone's definitely. No, done because that. she looked like Annie. She got to do it. She, oh, she had for sure. What was you know some what of I mean? y'all least favorite songs uh, from this album? Oh, damn. Oh, what? What was you, you going to say, Tyler? <laughs> nah, I just wanted to point out some of the uh, toxic relationship type lyrics on Hours in Silence. That was some real shit oh, he was yeah. saying oh, in the end. Uh, it's a toxic album. The he whole said, album is fucking toxic, yeah. if you're going to be real. It's a great way to end a trilogy. He said, there's three sides to this story. Girl, the one you subtweet. The one your group chat gets to read. <laughs> the one you come and tell me. I understand. Hey, the I group know. chat be going up. I need y'all to lock in. The part that what? was some crazy shit. He was like, uh, he said, it's my fault for once I take accountability. It's my fault for once you got superpowers on your knees. Woo! <laughs> it's my fault for That's once. That's flattering. I don't keep you grinding on your feet. It's my fault for once I drain accounts to make you love me. What Damn. the fuck? Drain it's accounts. my fault for once. I'm paying lawyer fees, doing things just to set you free. Is that about his baby mom? Hey, he out here. Get... Baby mom? It's my fault for once. I got the wagon G. Got you riding around with niggas that are nothing like me. Ooh. It's my fault for once. That it's my fault for once. That's how you make it seem. It's my fault. You out here thinking it's my fault. I'm the one doing all this shit for you. That's that's <laughs> like a motherfucker. That turn around, made you do, a, did a whole bunch of shit to you to make you hate him, and then now you hate him, and now he's like, so you hate me now? Yeah, nigga, you ain't shit. Explain this to me. I don't know what you just said. Yeah, I, I, okay, I didn't know, I that's didn't like know. a man. A man does you dirty, right? And so yeah. because he what? does he, you dirty, he does a couple of things nice for you. Now, okay. shit, I wouldn't mind getting a G wagon now. But he does a couple of things nice for you. It like almost is like you got to forget that other shit that I forget the trauma I put you through. Dirty. What trauma Drake, is Drake put these women through I'll, besides the fact that this nigga works? I really, I think oh that he has commitment issues. This <laughs> nigga works. I and think. Nobody uh, are you gonna let me finish? To be second behind this nigga. Hey Taylor work. Swift. Taylor yeah. Swift. I'm gonna let you finish. But Tyler, but. you say the same thing about future. That doesn't make your point. And it, it does. really doesn't. I'm sick I, of and, it. The, the fact really that you, you know what? Matter of fact, you Tyler, better lay low. Tyler. I got one for you. Barack Obama <laughs> made time for Michelle. So you know. can he make time president. for me. God His damn hair it. hair turned gray. You better lay His low. His hair turned gray in four short years. That and still made time working. to make his his. I'm not gonna say bitch because that's a, a, a great and woman right there. Still made time for but his made time for her to feel special and I made time for their for daughters. This. There's no excuse. There's no rationale. This. And it's there a simple. Brr, it could be a call or a text. Damn, you can't even set up a shortcut to send it's me very, a fucking good morning. Were, look, bro, it's very simple. It's very simple, bro. I'm telling you this right now. I'm not There's nothing more important. There's nothing more important to a man in the world than his purpose. Okay. Oh, brother. Oh, my God. I There's think Tyler deep down in inside than wants to be toxic Tyler, Tyler. and it's scary. No, him. I'm not Tyler, being toxic. Tyler, this Tyler, is you no, are. Bro, Tyler, this Tyler. is straight out of Ways of the Superior Man. This is straight Tyler, out of any of Tyler. these motherfucking books Tyler. you will read. This got, man is wait, not wait, good no, for I the American question. soul. Let me, I let me, I question. Guess. I got a question. Who comes Who hurt first? If. <laughs> It, if you're searching for your wife, real love, isn't that part of your purpose? 
And that's what I'm. That's what I was going to say. No, that's not what this motherfucker was going to say. No, but y'all niggas kept me off. That's absolutely not what he was going to say. Barack made time for his wife because Barack's wife is part of his purpose. All right. The quicker okay. you, the quicker you. Oh, so get I, to so understand. bitches is just. So you gonna say, oh, the other bitches was just cum racks? Yes, <laughs> yes. God damn! Hey, ladies, I'm sorry. If a nigga you, will let you know you, you, you not you not part of his purpose. If you not part of his purpose, <laughs> you really need to understand. Hey. You are second. You are not priority. I'm getting on the mic. The Notice how I'm holding get, the mic. The quicker okay. you understand I, ladies, that. It, ladies, the quicker somebody understands please, that, the quicker they ladies, can move on with their Ladies, life. please, don't be the cum rag to some asshole. Find, find your purpose. Don't wait for that nigga to find his purpose. Find yours. Get your bag. Get your shit up. Fuck these niggas. They ain't shit. Next. Bruh, what was your question? That's all I'm saying. I, I was going to say, I was like, Tyler, Find actually, your purpose, sweetheart. That's a good point there. Like, But... If that woman's not part of your purpose, why don't you just express that to her? Like, hey, we. Cause he you don't think that nigga express, you don't think Frank express that shit? I don't, I don't know. Full of shit. It's I got prime I example. Know. Niggas will be with a bitch, not fucking like her, not fucking want to be with her, won't break up with her. You but we'll do We talking Drake. We'll, Midsummer? We no, talking hey, Drake right now. No, oh, now, oh, now we honing in on Drake. Man, get okay, the go get, ahead, get, go get, ahead, get, go ahead. General, right. I thought we was All I'm saying is, I thought yeah, we was you see how it's shit. funny. Tyler's shit go it, it, it flip flop when it's benefiting it him. Look, look how he backing up from the, the mic. Get is on it, the mic. Tyler, Don't be, be shy. Tyler, my bad, my bad. You right. I got. Are we talking what, in general? What are you saying? My bad, Khadijah. Real quick, Khadijah. What was you saying again? What was the? I know that's right. What was your what I was saying is that you said, oh, niggas, niggas don't be telling niggas will literally be in a relationship miserable as fuck, not breaking up with a female because I don't know what it is. Maybe y'all can attest to this, but y'all will literally be in a relationship miserable as fuck, praying and waiting for the bitch to break up with you. Then uh, when she break up with you, y'all break up. Then God forbid, if she does come back, you accept her back. Even though you know that that bitch ain't your purpose and you know she your cum rag, but she a cum rag that's what? familiar. That's, you know why? Because y'all don't be having no breakup etiquette. These women don't. Wait, wait, what no the fuck is breakup? Oh, and it's a two way no, street, bucko. If you ain't break up with y'all motherfuckers, motherfuckers be you up? Question mark. It's, so if, you happy, if you ain't happy, on Twitter. Oh, as soon as you, no, as soon as we you break up, as soon as they break up with you, nigga, dick was small. Oh, nah, we popping outside. We popping our shit. Tyler, 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 Tyler. You gonna break? You know why? That nigga ain't do nothing for me. You know why they do that? That nigga asked me for thirty dollars. I had to fill up his tank. His dick is small. There's a reason behind that. There's a reason behind that. I don't give a fuck about the reason behind it. Hey, watch your tone. I got you. I, I, I got you, Jay. I got you. you. I got you. Don't say anything. Hey, Ooh, not too much. Tyler, men do the same care. thing. But men do the same thing. Oh, her. Hey, team, I saw. Her pussy like, hey, I saw. Good. And you was oozing in the shit. You couldn't oh, she, even hold it. Couldn't last. Hey, but hey, it wasn't she, shit. Man, that shit was mac and cheese when you was br- eating her it. Her breath stank. Like it's the, it's the same thing. Women do that and men do that. that sucking on that thing. tongue, it wasn't not good. That, but you were sucking on that, that tongue. Here's the thing: with this all, is all what men, I'm trying. Not all women this do that. This is what I'm trying you do that, to get at. You do that because you try to make sure that relation you to you. That's for you. This is what own I'm trying self. to get you, at. That's when you when you when you throw that person down that you used to be with. You do that for yourself to disassociate yeah. your feelings from that person. That's yeah, all that is. What I'm saying is what I'm really what I'm saying is the nigga will stay in there because. We know what's gonna come after, and at the end of the day, most niggas ain't ready to handle that shit. Most niggas exactly. ain't got the emotional support to handle that shit. That you know what I'm saying? Girls break nigga break up this girl, your girl's gonna be right there with you. Most niggas gotta deal with that shit on their own. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, depends how what type of friend group you got. Right. And that and depends, once depends again, on like that's not a me problem. That's a fucking you and your boy problem. Yeah, right? That's that's because yeah, it was that, your boys, your boys, Tyler, your that's boys. A, that's a lame ass excuse. Really is a lame ass excuse, yeah, that's Tyler. A, that's a lame excuse. That's Tyler, lame go excuse. in the corner. Time out. No, I'm time not out. Going in the corner. Go in the I corner wanna, no, and take I, some time no, to reflect. I'm not I don't going think in you the should. corner because you wanna, was loud I and motherfucking make, wrong. I want to make this statement clear. I want really want to make this statement clear, this and I really need niggas to understand this. Niggas really got to understand their purpose before they start fucking with these women. 
I'm really understand your purpose. Okay. Okay. That's all I'm I'll saying. If you know what your purpose is, all right, you, you probably do a better job in the relationship market. You know what I'm saying? Be in and out that bitch. They got your battery, Tyler. They got your battery. Single Baby, Tyler, you be going through it, bro. Single Tyler, be going through bro, it. Bro, single Tyler will be going home. We'll be going to work, coming home. I really, I know. I know, I, but I, eventually you're going to be like, damn, I need to get some. I don't know. I'm exactly. just, single I'm Tyler will just, be going through it. They got me. I'm just going, I'm, I mean, I'm just going to say Tyler. this. And Tyler, say Tyler, it once. You give great advice. I'd hate to see single Tyler. Single Tyler with, with some of the things you be saying, bro. Single Tyler, man, you be having. Let, let women, wrap you this be shit up. Women twisted, Cause bro. this nigga just gets my blood boiling. Let's wrap this shit up <laughs> like it's a con, like it's a dick that need a condom. Please come what? on, wrap it up. Cause Tyler just get my blood pressure going. This nigga will okay. give you PTSD. <laughs> Still, don't be mad because I'm speaking some real shit. I yeah, think, oh, I now you gonna lie? lie? <laughs> you gonna <laughs> lie on this shit? Ain't nobody but lie. I'm not gonna. It's not real shit. You talking? <laughs> you talking it's, you, you, you <laughs> that you got you a prisoner in your head, brother. Get oh, out of there, man. Nah, man. Nah, man. Just trying to tell you how it is, bro. Niggas gotta have some purpose. Niggas Man. gotta have purpose. I'm sorry, and, and, but the woman is not part so, of that purpose. No, no, oh, okay, and that's it's fine. But what if the way. nigga don't got purpose at all? Then like you at all? Be messing with the nigga. But if, that's, you, if but, you ask a nigga what his purpose is, if he, if he's, if he's, if he's Jaylen, not even in me. an effort, if he's not mm-hmm. even in an effort to figure that shit out, you yeah. probably should move the fuck on. Cool, Jalen. Go ahead. I think you were gonna rebuttal. There's a spirit. What, one, what, what's one up? Second. One second. One second. Continue the conversation. It's, 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 it's oh, never really... mind, never mind. I thought, I thought I heard, I thought I heard Jada pop it off or so, but I was about to. Have to... Oh, I know that's I, right. Be ready. That's why I was. Stay ready. We don't gotta get ready. I thought, I thought, but it was. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was the television. Okay, that's okay. Okay, we good. Sorry, sorry. Lost my train of thought. Okay, so it's that's about, my dog instincts. I got that dog in me. Oh, mm. bro. oh God! <laughs> See what you started telling and got brought the rough but rider out of jail. We before we go. <laughs> Before we go, can we talk about <laughs> our boy Twenty One Savage? Twenty One, how, how he, he said that out of everyone who was in his in his twenty in the twenty sixteen at Double XL freshman class with him in a versus, he he'd murder anybody easily. None of them. None of in them a versus, yeah. He, in in a ver- easy. yeah. Easy. And, oh, and you got to think about a, uh, three a.m. Um, in Glenwood. That was fine. Yes. Yeah, you was also got to. You you also got to think about who was in his class. You had Kodak Black, you got Lil Uzi Vert, you got Dave East, you got Lil Dicky, you got um, Denzel Curry, you got Designer G Herbo, and Lil Boat, Lil Yachty. And I also so that, got to that, add that, Anderson Park is on there as well. Oh, Anderson Park. Whoa, I whoa, still, whoa, Anderson Park's on there. No, I just found that out. That's a it hell. Is, I don't that's, know. Uh, if he, that, that's two different, two different vibes. I, I was know, just about to say it's very two different energies. I don't know if that would make sense. Huh? No, no, but now then, you say the verses, right? He did say everybody on his class. But if, if anybody, and Anderson Park, that that'll be a good one. It'll be interesting. It'll be very. I think no, I give different. that to you, Jalen. It would definitely be entertaining. It'll, it'll be, be a good one. A, but I think it depends, Tyler. It depends. Drastic tone switch in sound. Yeah. So it, mm-hmm. I don't think sonically you can do that versus. Sonically, because it just but doesn't. If they did, but if they and, did. And, I feel and, like Bruno Mars stepped his. That'd be ass entertaining. Out. Yeah, yeah that would be. Shit is over. With. That would be amazing. Everybody, their mama loves. That would be amazing. Something. I don't think that 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 one can't even be like a one when they like shit talking. Neither. Yeah, I feel, but that's the I, only one that's like one off though, because the yeah. other ones make sense. Does that like? Yeah, Kodak and Lil Uzi, I yeah. could see them giving a. I just want to rap. That would be fighting. Awesome. That could. I see them have a fighting chance, but they ain't gonna win. Twenty one gonna kill them. Twenty one. I mean, Lil Dicky. He's an actor now, so he don't really yeah. rap. Uh, what's that was his goal Curry the has a very cult following. <laughs> yeah, uh, who? Denzel so it Curry. Just depends on it. Depends on who would be at Lil, the if Lil Yachty's on like. this album. He he wrote mad co- a couple of the hooks. Yeah. Twenty one. Can you do some? G Herbo. Me. Same thing. He got his own. He got his own fan base. I'm not a fan. It personally. wouldn't even be close to me. I'm gonna be yeah, honest. I think the only shit I really was like, all right, this shit hard was the shit he had with Nikki Chirac. I just his that shit was actually are really good. To me. I can't I, I like listen his, to I like his, his music. It, I think it, that's it, what it is. It's kind of really, like his last one that he did with the um. He doesn't Who's rap that? on he doesn't rap on beat and it really makes me I haven't listened to the later. He just like, dropped an album. 
Oh, he did. Yeah, he just dropped one. Oh, I didn't it was know that. Called Survivors Remorse or something like that. But I like uh, okay. I like a couple of his albums. I think a lot. I, I stumble like into his shit. Like I don't. I, I, I can't, can't listen to a body of work I, I from him. Can't. And it's no shade to him, but I it's just like I. I think I'm also at the point where I can't do drill back to back to back. I got to do but drill. He not drill. I swear he, he not got, like he, his latest drill. jokes is very smooth. I think now. he's yeah, class. I think he even classifies himself as drill. He's in that. That's where he came no, up. That's, that's the sound he. I get he how uses. he came up similar mm. to similar. To but you're saying like in his recent his work, it's not really drill. His latest projects have been a mix of like uh, other stuff. Like okay. even I think there was one project they got. He got a really good song in there, but it's like him with like I think that American class, flag on his back with bullet holes in it. I think that. Oh class is, shit! Okay, I I saw album. that album. I I don't I didn't give it time to tune in, but I know drill what rappers. I'm talking about. That's a that good class album. of drill rappers, like they're drill, but like they're like OG drill. Yeah. Shout like, out to Chief Fucking Keith. Yeah, like I feel like that's I OG. mean, I don't feel so like, like that nigga get enough credit. Yeah, it's because you know uh, he kind of a legend. Yeah, he a legend. He really I mean, is. He, I mean, he put drill like for real. Um, I feel like yeah. every time, anytime Chief Keith does something, people talk about it though. Chief Keith ain't like, about not music, not Chief musically Keith wise, that. not music wise. Anybody like, talk yeah. sweet on Chief Keith? I'm like, damn, this is aggressive. He had very uh, passionate fans. Yeah, um, they. <laughs> yeah, but Twenty One Savage will kill, will cook anybody. Only person that I don't think he. I, but that's one off. Pop. I didn't even know he didn't even make sense with his class. Yeah, well, at the time, I think. Well, I mean, because like, that's when he was coming up. But I'm just yeah. saying, like, with the flow of this, he's like the, the outlier. Yeah, kind of him and Lil Dicky, but. Little Daddy, yeah. little Dicky, that white boy can wrap his ass off, even though it's he all really dope. can. Yeah, great show. All right, what what was a great show? His show, Dave. It's a good show. Oh, it is. Uh, it's real deep. Yeah, it is. All right, it's real, real quick. Uh, it's Khadija. Yeah. Top. What's your top three off the album? Top three off the album. All right, top three. I'm gonna go the Mata Dome. Rich Flex. This is in no particular order. Rich Flex on BS, on bullshit, bullshit, and spin about you. I want somebody to spin about me. You know, make a nigga's head top spin. I think. Make that shit happen. Rich Flex on BS and Privileged Rappers is my top three. Mm, That's a good one. Okay. What are my top three? Uh, Ty? For me, me it's, it's Privileged Rappers. Pussy and Millions and Middle of the Ocean. I think that boy just went. Cr- I love the yeah. uh, the Biggie beats. Yeah, we gotta we gotta kind of tune That's in. I knew Tyler was toxic, but that I love that confirmed. Biggie sample in Middle of the Ocean the worst when, he switched, song? when he switched beats. The what is worst. the worst song? What is your least favorite song? Uh, Ooh, you know what? I like Broke Boys. <laughs> well, you do- oh. yeah, that shit sound real good to me. I gave bro, boys. Boy. I, gave I, gave bro. I know that's gonna be the anthem for for the ladies. That's yeah, I can't wait. I'm I'm waiting on the right moment to post that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Yeah, got to be the right time. Hookah and all. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, what's the what's your least favorite song? Treacherous Twins for me. Treacherous Twins is my least favorite. I, it's a little too hmm. repetitive. It's a little too repetitive. I ain't read like jumbotron shit popping. That's I like okay. That that's Rich flow to me. That's it's, the it's shit that I was just like, exactly. Like it's not. It's, I can't tell you what a line in that song. I can't even tell you the melody of that bitch. Yeah, that one's the weakest song for <laughs> and me. And I'm good with melodies, motherfuckers. I mean, that, yeah, that's a weak. That's a weak song because I keep forgetting about it. I'd be like, I li- when I'm listening, when I listen to it, because I listen to it like six times now. Yeah, I hear middle of the ocean, and I'm like, oh, more M's is next, and it's not. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. It's, it's it's very. And I want to shout out Drake. Kind of got to run me some credit because I say this all the time. I guess it's fuck me. I say this oh. all the time. Like oh, it's yeah. nothing. Like nah, I'll go fuck myself. A, You're good. That's, that's, a a way, that's the great way to end this trilogy yeah. of albums. From yeah. Certified Lover Boy all the way to this. That's the that's the outro to yeah. all yeah. three albums. I feel yeah, like three AM cool. on Glenwood is the outro to this album, and then I guess it's fuck me is the intro to all three. Yeah. Hmm. That's a that's a very nice. Hey, that, that is nice that, wow. That shit was poetic and shit. That's number four mm-hmm. of my joint though. Three M on Glenwood. I really do yeah. like that. But uh, yeah, I guess shout out to Twenty One. Yeah, Twenty One. ain't had no song by himself. That's the only one. 
Yeah. yeah that well, was Drake good. only had one song by himself too. No, he didn't. He had one, Whoa, two, he had, three. He had middle he had four. Of shit. He had. Um, Oh, he had four. Back outside boys. Yeah, back outside. Uh, boys. Oh, thought, the jumbotron thought, shit, and I guess, shit. It's I guess it's fuck me. I guess it's fuck me. I must have so read it. I must have looked at it. I really thought it was just like, oh, yeah. I'm telling you, I, I, I now I need a 21 uh, piece. Oh yeah, he do. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. My fault. Yeah. I really. You know oh, I, mean? I must have. I I really thought it was Drake's like, life be seeming like I can't fuck with Drake. I don't. I don't be wanting Drake's life when I listen to him. It's like I, no. Nobody wants Drake. Shit like, sounds. He, I think it sounds very chaotic. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, he even he even says it like he's like, bro, I'm 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 really living this rap shit. Like you know, other people they they go into they they literally got their families and stuff, yeah. and then they come out and make music. But I'm really out here like living my single life, as fuck, like, yeah. yeah, baby mama type yeah. shit. Got that yeah, big ass shit. house by himself. Big yeah. ass. I hope he got like hey. some friends. That nigga said there, he, so. he said he got the big ass house Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> that nigga <laughs> said that shit in the album. Yeah, yeah. home alone. Oh, I thought it was Richie Rich. No, Home Alone. Oh, I thought he was talking about Richie Rich. I don't know hey, why. shout out Home Alone. Tis the season. I hate Tis. that movie. Oh, man. Whoa, 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 I hate that movie. Why? That fucking psycho-ass kid. He was a, a, hey, not too much. Be a not too much. Killer. Nigga defended his house. He's trying to hold he it down because his family done monster. fucked up twice. It's not well. They fucked his up. Nobody left. liked him in the family. Kevin was a little piece of little little. Fucking he wasn't. Brat. His older brother was. Right, a he cunt. was a kid. Uh, he was a little brat. Fuck he was that a no. Kid. Hate that movie. Watch a hey, watch your kids around Jalen. You really hate that little yeah. white boys. Little white boys. You are a hating ass nigga for free. Little white boys. Not even getting right. His Paid family left shit. him hey, and they counted. That kid These niggas grow up. counted and they still left him because he, he deserves to little. do whatever the fuck. We watch the movie. We watch like, the I, movie. I've seen it. We haven't sucked. We wa- I watch it every season. You really <laughs> so, that movie's terrible. Oh, I, uh, random shit. I guess we yeah. could ask. Is it favorite Christmas movie? Uh, is Khadija? Uh, and you know what? Which one is not my favorite no more? What? And this Christmas. Why? Because BT... <laughs> BT be playing that shit in July. Like, hey. <laughs> Yo, they didn't my... play that shit at all last Christmas. I was kind of mad Yeah, about because that. it probably motherfuckers like me. Like, hey, my nigga, I, I swear to God. Y'all please, the mistletoe. Funny. Put it Y'all gonna put make it fun of me for my favorite Christmas movie. What is it? Uh, Christmas Story. Oh, he can't say shit about Home Alone. That's Shut your longest. mouth. A Christmas Story. Um, I love that movie. I watch it every favorite, Christmas Eve, 24 my, hours. My favorite Christmas movie is Die Hard. That's yeah. a good one. That's a good yeah. one. That's a Christmas movie. It, it counts. It, it counts. It, it counts. does. I had to think about it. I, I had to think. I'm like, mm, this yippee is yippee yippee yay, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> I think mine would just be Home Alone. Mine. Uh, mine hey, would be I respect Home Alone. You. I like Home Alone. I, hate I actually like the so second one. Huh? You What'd like you the second one? Lost in New York. Is that the second one? Second one lost yeah, the second one was yeah. when he was lost in New York. Hey, and that nigga was living large. He was having yeah. a grand time. I My nigga said, yeah, we about to run up this. I'd First of all, I don't think alone. we honing. Home Alone, what the fuck did them niggas do for work? Are we kind of... Bro, I'm telling are you, we, all them kids, you was able to go to... France, all them kids, to all them flights. For a wedding? It was for a wedding, too. Like, it wasn't even like... I'm like, I, these I listen, niggas are living large. I listened to a podcast about it, and there was like, yo, they definitely was like some type of drug kingpins or something. Cause had to be. How you gonna had to a, be. There's no way. He has a brother that lives in France that's getting married in France, and they're flying 15 people. Not just not just the kids, but all the brothers and sisters. All I'm the talking about a everything. mixture of adults. Teens, there was 20 teens. niggas on that plane. From nah. that one family. They took up on the one, fucking whole plane, flight? damn near. Yeah, on the same flight? How the fuck? Hey, I'm going to be real. Ten of y'all going to be there uh, today. Ten of y'all going to be there tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow was a little cheaper. Ten of y'all had to get up on it. That was that's funny. But it made sense for it to be a white family. Because that's black family. Mm, that's looking a little suspect. That mom is funny as shit on Shit's Creek. Damn, oh, she is hilarious. Is I did know that. I hey, she been she getting to the bag. Don't worry about it. Yeah. She, she funny as hell. But, boys. All right, let's wrap this bitch up. Yes. With a bow. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate all y'all for listening Gang. this long. If you lasted this long, wink, wink. Gang. Um, I want to give a special shout out to Drake and 21. This album was definitely did not disappoint me. Um, it's bangers Gang. upon bangers. The references, the the paying tribute to different flows and to sampling. And it was dope. Gang. It was dope and love to see it. Um, 
if you didn't tune in in the beginning and you fast forward, I mean, subscribe, tune in, pay attention, re- review, uh, t- report. W- uh, I, I mean, t- stars. Do I something. Mean, at, Do something please. to help a brother. Interact with the fucking page. Exactly. Sorry, fucking sounds aggressive. Interact with the page, please. And if you come with disrespect, just know you're going to get it back. Yeah, and also, like, let's, like, comment on new posts, please. Because yeah. the niggas that are commenting on old posts, it's fine. It's getting I know old. you're... S- it's but like, keep old. Comment, actually, keep commenting. You know, I like that engagement. But like, come on. Yeah, but like, engage. There's some, some other, other shit on yeah, there. Yeah, there's some other shit. Like, you you're know? literally skipping tens and thousands of other snippets. We got Too hours many. and hours of just clips. Yes. Instagram, Instagram. Man, switch we got up that funny algorithm. clips. Ass. We don't only just switch insult up that algorithm. Weak men. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like, we, come on. I don't only insult niggas. We got this early clip that I find hilarious that I've been pushing for a year. You know, I is, I'm I'm nice. I don't only as insult. Exactly. I uplift as well. Shoot, the Elvis clip is hilarious. Oh. Okay. Come on. Um. Yeah. But as always, stay blessed. Stay black. Peace. <laughs>